target into the bottom corner. And again, this greasy surface, you know the ball's going to skip off that. But he got down well, got two good hands to it and pushed it away to safety. He may well have been at fault. Well, he certainly was at fault for the first goal, but uh, making some sort of redemption there. So keeping that header out. Keeper comes for it. Patterson collides with McDonough on the edge of the area. Both men go down. Danger here for Knox. As Patterson's off his line, he quickly gets back into his six-yard box. It's the home side on the ball. 99 minutes on the clock. It's Tyrrell Warren on the right-hand side. Some of the Knotts fans are way to our right. There are 447 of them have made their way down to the front. They want to get as close to the action as they possibly can. Johnson on the ball, digs the ball out from the edge of his penalty area. Up to the halfway line to Dion Kelly Evans. Tries to beat Waters. He does do. We are inside the 100th minute here at the Shea. Palmer, Cruyff turns away from Spence, finds Eli Sam, who quickly concedes possession, but Knotts win it back again with Jim O'Brien there has been so much drama in their ga in this game is there one last twist here come Halifax now back and forth back and forth Halifax have the numbers do they as they surge into the knots half it's with Mark Warburton still going approaches the edge of the penalty area looks for some support now down the right touch line looking to cross the ball into the penalty area back to Warburton once more he hits it and wins it Absolute right phrase. If you thought it might have been a one off on Saturday, they've re underlined it tonight. Absolutely incredible from 2 0 ahead against 10 men with what 20 minutes on the clock. Knots have managed to snatch defeat, it looks like, from the jaws of victory. It's a standing room only here now at the Shea as the referee blows his final whistle and Halifax have won by three goals to two. Ian Birchnell chooses not to shake hands with Pete Wilde. Instead, he stomps onto the pitch. The Halifax players are celebrating like they're going to Wembley. Ian Birchnell will be racking his brains as to how on earth they have managed to contrive to lose this match against 10 men. He may well complain to the referee. He can surely only look at himself and his players this evening. How on earth you can concede three goals against 10 men in the final 20 minutes of this game, including stoppage time. A hundred minutes of it. Now Ian Birchnell is nose to nose with the assistant manager on the pitch of Halifax and they're having to be separated as Birchnell comes over and now the players are getting stuck in again. This is not going to end at 3-2. This will not end in the 101st minute. Tempers will continue to boil over here at the Shea. All the hallmarks of a contested and passionate game as Birchnell is now hearing it from the away travelling supporters away to our right hand side and also from some of the home fans as well as it has now been broken up just a few more pushes and shoves on the halfway line Kelly Evans is being told by one of the Halifax players that we'll do this in the tunnel instead of the pitch the Knotts players slowly, frustratedly, furiously making their way off to the near touchline this has been a match that you will remember 
remember, now Jay Keane involved. More pushing and shoving, more fighting, more scrapping on the pitch in front of us as the Nods players do not want to leave this pitch. They cannot flummox themselves into how they have lost this game. Kyle Wotton shakes hands with Pete Wilde. That may well be the final engagement between these two teams on a night to remember for some good and some terrible reasons here at the Shea. It has been a barnstorming evening in West Yorkshire where Notts have lost for the third straight game. Mark Stallard. Well, how do you sum that up? We're watching incredible scenes at the end here. You know, after afters on the pitch between Ian Birchnell and I think the assistant manager from Halifax squaring up head to head in the middle of the pitch. Obviously something being said to Halifax assistant manager had the red miss for a bit, it had to be separated, the Nos players get involved, the Halifax players get involved. Not the best scenes you've ever seen, Halifax absolutely milking their applause and why wouldn't they? 2-0 down, down to 10 men with 20 minutes to go, all but dead in the game. When you play against this Notts County team, unfortunately, you are never dead. And they get a first goal, decent strike. Let's say a hat-trick of three really good strikes have actually won them the game. But Ian Birchall, I think it's frustration from him and his players there. How they can let a game slip like that where they should have absolutely controlled the final 20 minutes. They've conceded three goals and will leave here empty-handed.